Welcome to Worth Live, where we bring manufacturers, suppliers, and knowledge directly to you, the customer. On today's episode, we will be speaking with the Worth Machinery Group, representing Worth Bear Supply. We have the Aikens Machinery Team, and representing Worth Lewis and Company, we have the Worth Machinery Team. Both teams are here together to service the United States. What is up, guys? Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we will just we will just throw it right to Mike. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Jason. It's good to see everybody today. Um, just wanted to tell you about myself. Um, I'm Mike Sedwicks. I oversee the machinery um, division in cells and um, happy to be here. I've been with the company for 28 years and um, just excited to be able to talk to you guys and uh, answer any questions that you may have. And Bruce, tell us about you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Bruce Watson. I've been with Worth Lewis and Company for about 20 years. I handle machinery sales in California, and I'm really looking forward to this uh, opportunity to connect with you guys. And we're going to go right to Rick because he was right on you know, my mouse there. Rick, tell us about yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Akins from Akins Machinery. I, uh, I live to annoy my brother, Dan Akins, but I'm also obsessed with machinery. Uh, we love heavy duty European machines here. We like servicing and uh, we're the importers of Ganymat in the United States. Nice. Speaking of, Dan keeps coming in and out, so hopefully he'll stay in long enough to introduce himself. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. We're having some technical difficulties, but uh, yeah, I'm Dan Akins, Akins Machinery, Worth Bear Supply. Been in the been in the industry for over ten years now, and uh, just trying to help people with their machines. Nice. And finally, we have Zach. Hi, uh, my name is Zach Fawcett. Uh, I work uh, with both uh, Aikens Machinery and the guys uh, on the West Coast here with Worth Lewis as a uh, Ganymat sales manager and a specialist for the line. Very cool. So basically the point of this whole getting together is to bring you the customer knowledge all about machinery. So if you have any comments at all, please leave them or questions rather uh, in the comment section and they would love to, uh, you know, answer them and however they can. So first, uh, you guys both sell the same machines overall. So we're going to mainly be talking about the SCM edge banding and the Ganomat, pretty much everything exactly uh, something with a KTO, right? Right, Rick? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, cool. So we're going to get started here. Uh, let me bring up the SCM video we have. So Bruce, Mike, tell us a little bit about SCM. Well, um, SEM is a, is a European line of machinery we, we've been selling for over 25 years. Fantastic value proposition they offer. Um, best bank for your buck, we feel. It's all Italian made, really high quality stuff. So what we're looking at here is our uh, K360 HP edge bander. It's kind of a um, middle of the road uh, of their line, but a uh, very high quality machine. It's kind of a do all machine, do everything machine. And uh, that's why we're showing it to you today. We have some things that are a uh, little more, a uh, little lower price, some that are more high production. This is kind of the meat of the line here. Right. Yeah, Bruce, so, I, oops, sorry. Yeah, go on. Yeah, um, Jason, if you can go back to that uh, touch screen there, you know, yes, that's, sir. that's one of the best features of SEM to be able to. Uh, uh, be able to maneuver and adjust, make any adjustments so that you're not lifting up the hood. Um, it's all done right there at the controller. Yeah, very, very nice. For yeah, sure. the HP designation means uh, high production. Um, it has uh, several programs you can put in. It's all adjustable directly from the controller, like Mike said. So what size custom shops are you looking at that are buying, like, let's say this model? Like, is it like 100 man shops, two man shops? You know, what, how do you, you know, how would you figure out like, hey, I'm ready for this machine, I guess? Well, really, it's more about the type of work you do than the size of the shop. Um, this is for a, probably a smaller shop, but uh, if you're doing high gloss panels, if you're doing anything that needs uh, corner rounding, um, making cabinet doors, slab cabinet doors, things like that. Okay, very cool. One thing that, uh, just to chime in here a little bit, one thing that I really like about the HP model is, is you know, a lot of customers on, every, on all over the country, they, 
they have to do a lot of changeovers. And sometimes the person in the shop maybe isn't the best person at doing changeovers. Maybe it's someone new running the edge bander and the HP just makes it easy to jump from different panel thicknesses, different edge banding thicknesses. And it, like Bruce said, the HP is signifying a servo motor um, on every station for adjusting at the controller. And so it just makes it easy to jump around. It's also every time I see one or show one off to a customer, I always love how fast the stations all jump and react the second you hit a different program it just it's immediate it's easy and it, it make it makes you feel fun and high tech while running an edge bander right I, I just looking at it it's like man this looks like completely state of the art you know if i had this in my shop i probably can get rid of a couple employees now i mean that's probably a bad thing but wow it's, this is uh it's pretty cool very very <laughs> nice you know the yeah. nice thing too the nice thing too also is we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of high gloss panels Mm -hmm. whatnot and so quality That's the delicate edge right there they're showing mike for your high gloss yeah 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 so uh, was that oh that was it you guys were <laughs> i wasn't sure if you guys would continue talking all right so we do have uh some ganomat so the uh, aikens guys are going to represent ganomat today uh but it is available all over the united states at both lewis and company and bear supply uh, if you're a new customer or if you're an existing customer, depending on where you live is who you would go after and talk to. Uh, it's kind of split up just to make it more, you know, comforting and easy to talk to people in one company, not just taking over the whole country. And, you know, that'd be really hard. So if you're on the East Coast, you're going to be the Aikens. And if you're on the West Coast, you're going to be uh, the Worth Machinery. So let us talk about the Ganomat. Rick, so, somebody? Oh, Zach, have oh. at it. So uh, the next step in your line here is, is if you were in Dow Construction, would be a line boring machine like this. And, you know, you really want to get into, uh, you know, there are, there are a lot of ways to put your cabinets together, screwing them, uh, you know, blind dados and so on. Uh, but really across the board, when you start getting into any high production or any really uh, uh, simple production because it lets anyone in the workforce work with it you're one again you're gonna want to get into dowling uh like I, I always say it's fitting a round peg into a round hole so if you have the right machinery that's accurate uh you can get anyone in the workforce to come into your shop and work without having the skill set of maybe a guy that has 10 or 15 years and really knows how to eyeball and put cabinets together so it really picks up your production uh, to go to that next level and to keep up with, uh, you know, the other bids you're seeing around in your area. So yeah, here's a question it, back. Sorry yeah, to interrupt you. So for the edge banner, we were, that's the SEM edge banner we were talking about. Is there a, you know, a price range, I guess we could talk about it? Because I don't know if you're allowed to even, right, you know. Right to what's important, Bill, and right to the price. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll leave that to Mike or Bruce to talk about the price of that edge banner we were just talking about. Or yeah, you can send an email out and you guys can True. get a customized price just for Absolutely. Bill. But Absolutely. yeah. <laughs> so, and then we have another one from Ala. We have what is the price range? Wow, everyone wants to know the price range for these machines. But we, maybe can we talk about lead time to install? Well, it depends on availability. I mean, we stock these machines typically. Uh, we do our best to stock them, but the way things have been going these days, availability is kind of difficult. So if you are interested, let us um, talk to you and talk about exactly what's available, when it's available, and we can make things happen quickly for you. Yeah, I think that the biggest thing that I'd like to, to really um, talk about is Worth, Worth is very proud of the, being able to uh, sell SEM. We stock heavily on the edge banders. I mean, currently right now we have um, 19 edge banders in inventory. Um, we move um, quite a few each month. And so they range, just to give you a range of um, the, the scope of uh, SEM edge banders, we sell them anywhere from $24,000 up to $350,000 plus. Um, so we have a quite, quite range of uh, edge banders. Nice. Well so, said, Bill. <laughs> so uh, back to this D, uh, DB21 video. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, what exactly does this machine do? Is it, I saw it doing some door hinges. Is it actually, you know, route out for door hinges and everything else or so the db21 was designed uh with the small shop in mind and it actually can do multiple processes from dowling from drilling for dowels uh conformats to as you saw doing kds knockdown fittings and and hinges uh, it can also line bore so it's really an all-around machine a great machine for a company uh that is smaller and really looking to get into dow construction 
Very nice. So we do have, next on the uh, list is the Selecta. This thing looks pretty awesome. Who wants to talk about the Selecta? I'll, I'll talk about the Selecta. And really the, uh, the DB21, and just like Zach said, it's versatile. It's your horizontal and vertical drilling and boring. And for a lot of different diameters with a big, powerful direct drive motor. But, um, you know, this is oftentimes if you, ha if you have a CNC, you're going to do your vertical drilling on that machine, your horizontal drilling for dowling on a DB21 type machine. But if you didn't have a CNC, the, the DB21 is a perfect start and because uh, it can do all of your drilling. And then, you know, the bigger shop may have a CNC dowel inserting machine, and we'd love to talk to you about one from Ganamap. But there's ways to start out without just spending all your money and uh, and getting into dowel construction and seeing that it's a good way for construction. And uh, you would do it with something like a DB21 and this Selecta. you gotta got to shoot your dowel somehow. And so... This machine is two, is two tanks, one for glue, one for water, making it easy to clean, or if you're using pre-glued dowels. Um, but it is drilling, and it, not drilling, sorry, but it's inserting glue and a dowel uh, yeah. for you, and it, it's very easy to use. Um, it's ergonomically easy to handle, um, and it shoots them fast and accurately, and uh, they seem to last too long. We only sell people, you know, one every 25 years. We can't sell them a bunch because it just keeps running. And well, if I could... Yeah, oh, sorry. You if don't. I can jump in there, oh, was that you, Dan? No, no that was that was okay. that was not okay. Dan. Well, if I could jump in real quick on that too, when you're looking at it, uh, and you're looking at it, something like the Selecta, it's not only the convenience of it, uh, but it's it's the speed and accuracy and the consistency of the product you're putting out, and that's what this type of machine can do. Uh, if you're doing it the old-fashioned way uh, by hand, you have a guy with a squirt bottle and a hammer and some dowels, and he's probably knocking in maybe 10 dowels a minute if he's really fast with an inconsistent glue squeeze, whereas the Selecta gives you uh, a metered amount of glue with a with a dowel shot in behind it. So that gives you about 40, you know, if they're getting good at it, 40 to 50 dowels a minute, which is, so you're quadrupling your, your output right there while your product is more consistent. Very nice. So I almost forgot we are giving away a worth prize pack. Uh, it's pretty much, Hey, it's ready for summer. You know, I'm, I'm tired of the winter. So we are going to be giving away a nice, uh, picnic blanket, Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth cooler, really big awesome chair it's not like one of those little tiny chairs you see you know this thing's like comfy it's got padding it's just humongous uh but it folds nicely and then also uh i think a water bottle so all you have to do is send an email to i forgot what it was worth uh worth live at wlcna.com and then in the subject line just hit i want to win you don't have to hit that but you just have to put that in there and you will have a chance one person will win it by uh tuesday at midnight get those emails in we will send that thing right to you uh, you know, probably UPS is what I'm guessing. So that's all you have to do. Send that email in and you have a chance to win. All right. So next we, on the list. Yes, Can sir. we register to win or what? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. So that, no, no, that'd be bad. So we're going to, what are we talking about next? The Injecta. No, we just did that one. Wrong one. Good try. Oh, that? That's, that was the selected. You're right. This is You're right. They all sound machine. the same. All right. So tell us about this. See, an average consumer like myself is like, man, it all sounds the same. So... This is that same thing. It gives you that metered amount of glue. This is more for the assembly line right before your case clamp. Uh, and this gives you a, that same consistency that you need. It saves you on product. As you can see here in this dial, you can, you can see those glue dots getting bigger and bigger as they go. And it gives you that shot every single time. So no matter what kind of construction you're doing, any type of materials, this gives you the ability to know when your product goes out the door that it has that same build quality going out to every single one of your customers. Very nice. That I mean, that is, it just looks like satisfying, you know, just watching this guy glue up uh, his panels. <laughs> it I mean, definitely honestly. is. That's probably my favorite, one of my favorite machines to demo at the shows. It's, it's, uh, it's fun to play with. It's something I would have never thought even existed. Like, you know, who doesn't use a glue bottle? Uh, this guy doesn't, and it's awesome. I, you know, I would never use a glue bottle again. Um, let's see. You know, the nice thing too, Jason, is we uh, we have that glue available, uh, dowling glue. So it's uh, readily available with uh, all worth companies. So. so what is the difference between, is there a certain dowling glue that you're going to use versus your normal glue? Like, can you explain a little bit about that? It's so the viscosity. Um, Zach could probably get into it a little bit deeper for us, but viscosity is kind of the key factor on that. Yeah. 
Uh, Mike is completely correct. It's it's when you're going into assembly uh, areas, you want a little bit thicker glue uh, just because it's easier to work with. Because as you can see with this panel, when you're putting glue into each one of those holes, you will eventually tip that board upside down. Uh, and you don't want the glue to run out. And that's where that viscosity comes in. You need something a little bit quick, clicker, or uh, thicker, excuse me. Thicker and quicker. Well, here's a good yeah. question we have. What makes Ganomat different from other manufacturers that do the same thing? That's actually a very honest question. So who wants to give an honest answer? So uh, I thought it'd know, be Rick. <laughs> Rick, you want yeah. to say, go ahead. I'll, I'll give an honest oh, answer. Oh, I thought, I thought I heard Rick. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm all about it. I, uh, you know, that's the, I, the cocky answer would be because we're selling it. Um, but no, <laughs> Ganomat is, uh, it, it's the way it's manufactured. It's it's going to be one of the heavier options you can look at for dowel inserting equipment, for drilling, uh, for insertion, for clamping. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of times where our competitors are using aluminum, we're using solid steel. It's it's um, they specialize in just drilling, insertion, and assembly, and they focus on it and they've mastered that over. I think Zach, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Well over 50 years, and it's. Um, it's the only thing they focus on. A lot of our competitors make a little bit of everything and they don't focus on just one thing, but you know, Ganymat has treated it like a science from day one and you know, it, drilling a hole and inserting a dowel in that hole is not as easy as we've made it sound. But you know, from, from day one to 10 to 15 years down the road, the Ganymat's still going to be shooting glue and dowel in that hole. And it's going to be doing it well. And uh, very, that's, why we, that's, that's, that's very nice. That's almost why we like, almost have a tear. Like, you know. <laughs> don't, don't cry, Jason. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if I could say one thing, Yamaha and uh, Aiken's machinery really do stand behind the product as well. So if there are any situations in the future, you're going to have someone that's there to take care. Of. And that's, and that's speaking of that, does Aiken's offer delivery and setup? And I guess we could talk about both you guys, Worth Machinery and Aiken's offer delivery mm -hmm. and setup of the machines. Tell us, tell us a little bit about you know a customer buys this thing. What what are they in for? Talk so, to them, Dan. Yeah, go ahead, Dan. No, I mean, I can take that one a little bit. I, um, so we do stock machines and parts at our facility in New Hampshire. Uh, we address the the entire country um, with service, uh, with service parts, uh, anything you can need. We have multiple technicians. Um, we do a great job of, uh, of helping over the phone, um, but we, we also have no problem putting technicians on airplanes to travel anywhere need be. Um, we currently have a couple of technicians on the East Coast, a technician on the West Coast, um, another one in more central, but uh, whatever it needs to be done, we will do. Paul, that is a great question. You know, Thank Jason, you. one of the things that I like too is uh, we always pride ourselves and have a representative from Worth be able to be there on site when uh, a particular product's being delivered. And so we just, we want to be able to help our customers grow. So. Yeah, and we're there for them. Right. So, and as far as like support after the installation, uh, is there training? You know, how, how does it work? You know, who offers that, and what 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 does that entail? Yeah, right, I mean, we can of... we can all offer. Uh, you know, both sides of the country can offer support. Whether it's it's a little bit of who can get there the fastest. Um, ideally, it's one of our salary employees. We all have an extensive network of subcontractors too for support, but. In this world of the pandemic, which I'm sure has been crazy for everyone watching, we've really mastered virtual support. A lot of these machines are are running on Windows 10. You can virtually log into the machine, virtually calibrate, address issues. Um, and also with the Internet of Things, SCM's becoming pretty big on for the machines with, you know, giving you the tips before you even need them and telling you what needs to be serviced, what needs to be replaced. And but the. The virtual world of being logging in and, and being able to calibrate from you know opposite coasts has been crazy and awesome for us and we've learned a lot during the pandemic but you know after the pandemic we'll be able to support it whichever way people want whether that's in person over the phone and we're willing to jump all over it and you know sometimes it, it does cost money for support but um we're going to do it really well very cool so Absolutely. back to the uh scm though we have a question uh what size edge banding can be used so good question, Troy. On this machine specifically, you can go up to six millimeters uh, thickness. It does, this machine does come with um, radiuses, uh, capable radiuses of one millimeter, two millimeter, or three millimeter. Um, it's all built into the machine. So depending on what you're doing from thin tape to three mil tape or larger, 
you can do all of that from the controller, which is a huge advancement. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot right now, and I don't know if you guys have seen it back in the East Coast. I'm seeing a lot of folks <clears throat> um, gravitating to uh, one and a half mil um, PVC. Um, I'm seeing more so that way, whereas, you know, the early uh, 2000s, we saw a lot of three millimeter, um, more so in the commercial side of it, but we're really starting to see the, the one and a half mil. I don't know if what you guys are seeing out there, Rick or Dan. Yeah, no, I, I we're definitely seeing that stuff. Uh, what I was going to say before, just to piggyback off of Bruce a little bit, is, is I know we're showing the uh, the K360 HP model in the video here, but one of the reasons why we do pref uh, why we do like to represent SCM Group um, is because they they offer many different levels of edge bander. I mean, this is just one model of probably 15 different levels and sizes and options and features. We, we, uh, we, you know, using SEM group, we're able to fit a machine to the application as opposed to squeezing the customer into a certain model machine, kind of like some of our competitors have to do. Absolutely. And as customers grow, we can help them move into the next level as well. We do um, we can help by uh, either taking chain and trade in, or um, help selling it on to another customer to provide funds for the new machine. We're right. full service sure. in that regard. So here's a great question: Do you guys uh, service equipment not purchased from Worth by chance? So you know, say they bought the Ganymat or SCM from some other you know competitor. Will you guys service those? We, let's say, uh, that's at least for Aiken's machinery and Ganymat, I can I can confirm that we have a, an extensive uh, inventory of parts uh, from all uh, makes and models. And the great thing about Ganymat uh, in general is that they produce and manufacture uh, about 85% of the parts, which is a large number uh, that go into these machines. So if you have something uh, that, you know, a, a construction boring machine that's 20 or 25 years old, uh, we can get the parts for it. Nice. Yeah, same with SEM. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Yeah, I would say that we're, yeah, that we're able to service. That we're able to service any Ganymat anywhere in the country, no matter who sells it. I mean, that's that's the responsibility of the importer. Um, SEM stuff it, it is a little different, though. We we definitely do the best we can, but we also try to keep a little bit of value add on our side. I mean, it, it, we uh, we really service what we sell, um, and we we push that aspect pretty hard. So we uh, we tried to, to, to kind of get more sales that way by offering the service. Very nice. And so, I mean, and to yes. add to that, it's also, you know, we don't want to, it's a little bit of don't not getting in trouble. It's not because he didn't buy it from us, but also it's like, I mean, I've heard Dan say this a bunch of times. If someone calls into our home office, it's, it's more of a, we don't want to get in trouble and um and try and fix something that we're not familiar with we everyone on this group has been familiar with scm and ganymat now for over 20 years and so you know we're super confident in that and we're going to say yes to doing that and uh we are adding technicians quick but it's more uh we just don't want to get ourselves in trouble with the customer or get the customer in trouble either i mean service can be expensive and we want to know we can get the job done before we say yes and speaking of that what other machines do you guys carry i know it's just not two brands uh, can you just give us a brief, you know, thing of all the name brands you have and what kind of machines? Yeah, I mean, um, we sell uh, Strebig, we sell uh, uh, Powermatic, we sell Ritter Manufacturing, um, Safety Speed Cut. Um, I would uh, encourage everybody to uh, jump onto our website, worthmachinery.com. Um, we're adding constantly daily. We sell Kaser compressors, um, LG compressors. Um, there's just a slew of them that we sell, um, but pretty much everything um, that's out there, we do uh, do represent and uh, are proud to be able to support and uh, take care of what we do sell. Yeah, and feel free to reach out to us anytime if, if there's something that you want us to find for you. If it's not on our website, give us the chance to do that. Nine times out of 10, we can find something through our partners that'll uh, do the job for you. Yeah, and the website's links should be down below in the description, uh, depending on where you're watching this video. So yeah, definitely reach out. They have the emails are down here. 
uh, if once I hide that banner, uh, you guys can reach out and send them some questions. Uh, but we have another one right here. Speaking of questions, we have on the training and support, do you guys offer in person or is it all in virtual style, you know, due to the pandemic, I'm guessing? I would say every situation is different on that. I mean, we can offer uh, in person, we can offer virtual. Um, you know, the, we, we really take that uh, case by case, depending on what the customer needs, what the customer wants. Um, so yeah, that's, that's definitely a, a case by case basis, but we will do whatever it takes. And also do these machines have a lumber stock feed? Not sure which machine, but you guys pick up anything off that question from Kevin? Assuming they're talking about like thicker solid wood strips for the edge banders, right? Well, I'm Maybe. not sure what else. Yeah, that would have a magazine, but any anything that is capable of accepting a feeder, we have feeders for them. Um, tell us what your situation is, what your need is, and we'll find a solution. And then here's another one. I'm guessing it's for the Ganomat. Can you replace a, the glue plot, pot? Oh, no, it's an edge bander. Can you replace the glue pot, pots? God, that's a hard word, plots, mm -hmm. on the edge banders and use different colors of glue? Camera was in the way of that one. Absolutely. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the glue pot is, is um, on this machine has an SGP glue pot. In fact, the entire line of SCM edge banders at this point is is uh, SGP, meaning you can you can flush the glue pot, you can change the colors, or you can change the entire glue pot. Yeah, you know, and I'm I'm seeing a lot of customers um, gravitate more to uh, like a clear. Um, oh yeah, a clear glue uh, more so than you know back in the back in the day in the '90s and early eighties, we saw a lot of folks using just nothing but white. White was the, was the, uh, the color to have, but, um, a lot of folks are just going to the clear. Um, and then now we're starting to see the PUR glue, um, come out. Um, that's been really uh, popular too. Well, the reason for that, I mean, there is a little bit more. So a part of the reason for that is these edge banders are able to apply such a thin glue line that you can't even see the glue. So yeah, so like Mike said, we can get away with the uh, the, the clear glue because the, the the glue line is so thin. Yeah, no, absolutely. Also, a huge benefit of the PUR SG, of the SGP pot that that uh, Tim at SEM seems to be bringing into the country a lot more often on his machines. It's uh, you can then use the PUR glues and make your glue line that Dan was just talking about even smaller and even more invisible. And, and that kind of goes back to the high gloss conversation that we almost had at one point in the video. Um, but you can pull off high gloss without using the pre-glued banding, which is there's a conversation for it. But you can pull off high gloss without using pre-glued banding by doing that ultra thin line. And don't forget to like the video if you find it informative and helpful. <laughs> and if you don't, like it as well. And let us know in the comments why you didn't like the video. Uh, but here's a really, really long, good question. Uh, I was looking at the Holes Her, whatever, how you say that, uh, streamer last year. They mentioned it wouldn't be able to run three mil all day, every day for volume. Would this 360 Edge Banner be able to handle that? And they are a small shop. Well, eight hours a day is a lot. Um, it could do that, but it would do it for a short period of time. We have machines that are designed specifically for single shift, eight hours a day, or dual shift, um, 16 hours a day. It kind of depends on what your needs are, and let us sit down with you and go over the options. And we can talk numbers. We can talk. Uh, um, we also do offer financing if if you have to step up into a larger machine, where we can help you uh, help the machine monthly pay for itself. Or yeah. would it be smart to get two machines for something like that as well? Or is it, no, just get one bigger one? Uh, it, again, it comes down one. to circumstances and what you're doing. And we have, as we talked about all of our experience, we've all been here minimum 10 years doing this 20, 25, 30 years. So between this team, we can find what you need. And, and really it's, a, we try and consult. It's not really a sales process. It's more of a consulting process. And, you know, we want to help you be successful so you can grow to the next level. Yeah, agreed. But I mean, I, I, well, I mean, the big thing, I feel like that streamer and then also it might be, a, a, it's a similar, I'm not sure if it's the same level as a 360, but I'm assuming the reason why they said that too was, you know, if you're doing three mil and you're doing that much volume, you, you want dual motor corner rounding and the 360 is a single motor corner rounder. Um, but then again, what Dan said earlier about SEM and the multiple levels, if you were going to be doing three mil all day long and you needed to do corner rounding, then we, we'd want to get you into a dual motor corner rounding machine that can, you know, withstand a lot of usage um, and not run one motor into the ground. And so you have a long shelf life for the machine too. So 
again, it's kind of like Bruce and Dan have said, it, it, it's, it's a puzzle and a science and uh, SCM has a lot of ranges, which makes it pretty fun for us to be able to figure out. And they mentioned small shop, which is awesome to hear. So, I mean, even a smaller shop, you guys can offer financing. So they're paying it for, you know, a, a certain number of years. So they're not going to take the economic hit back on it and actually grow. And it seems like this would be the way to grow from going to small to medium or large. What, what have you uh, run into in the past, I guess, with other customers, you know, helping grow them? Do you have any stories that can make us cry? Uh, Dan, Rick, anybody? Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, yours. we've had circumstances. I've had customers that I've been dealing with for 20 years, started in a small shop with a single saw, a very small edge bander. And now that same guy has uh, two CNC's, uh, two edge banders, and we were there all along the way trying to um, give advice and help him get to that next level. Sometimes we take machines in and trade. Uh, sometimes we offer auctions to help move those machines on and help fund the new, um, the next step in his um, evolution as a company. Well, we have several of those stories i'm sure you guys have those too oh, absolutely. yeah i mean to add on to, to add on to bruce there yeah it's uh, uh so a mentor of mine once told me uh the most cost effective machine is the right machine uh mm -hmm. if you get something in there uh that is underpowered uh just to save money or you know you're trying to limp by uh that will end up costing you more in the long run and looking at the correct machine for the application that you're trying to run. And I think that's the most important thing when you're looking at buying either a used machine or a new machine. Absolutely. We have a really good question here from uh, Richard Aikens. Does Aikens have support people on the phones that know what they are doing? Great question from Mr. Richard. So that, that's, a, that's a familiar last name. Um, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I wonder <laughs> I mean, the short answer is yes. yes. Yeah. Do have very, very good. <laughs> yeah. Short answer is yes. Long answer is it depends on the machine and who we get you on the phone with. You know, hopefully some of us can handle it. But no, we do have technicians behind us that are smarter than the one the people you're looking at now that would be great over the phone. <laughs> well, I really want to get to this last one real quick just for, you know, because I, when I saw it, I thought it was pretty cool. This uh concept case clamp who wants to talk about this uh i guess i can step in there uh the so the concept cl case clamp when you're doweling the last thing um that you want to do is have you know four or five six guys at the end of your assembly line hand clamping your your cases together unless they were all wearing this outfit then it'd be kind of cool to have six guys i you know i've hat. tried to get my hands on one and it's harder than you think right i, can imagine. <laughs> I would love one <laughs> but but so so the case clamp here um allows you to to you know uh take one and maybe two guys at the end of your assembly line uh and accurately clamp a case together uh, on the way out of its assembly line. Because I think all these guys, and, and probably a lot of you have heard uh, the, the word bottleneck. Uh, so if you have a slow assembly line area, that's going to be the bottleneck you know, of trying to get cases out. And so this alleviates uh, that bottleneck by not only putting the case clamp there, but also taking, like you see this table right here, putting in certain assembly line options to speed up the process. Uh, because the last thing you want to do is cut everything and have a fast edge bander and have fast drilling just mm -hmm. to have all of those parts stacked up before they can get out of the door. And just watching him, I mean, he's not lifting anything heavy. He's just basically sliding things around like you wouldn't even need, you know, you wouldn't hurt your back. It just seems like a really cool setup for all this. But speaking of the clamp, so when it's clamping these dowels, what kind of glue are they using? Is it instantly drying or like, you know, do you have to leave this in the machine for two days? Like, seems like an expensive clamp, you know, if I'm going to be sitting there for three days. How does that work? So, I mean, there's a variety of glues you can use, but the most common is probably a white PVA glue that dries clear. Uh, and you're going to be using something like we were talking about before that's a little bit thicker. Uh, and when you're coming in, like you see here, you can see how he's not putting any stress on the joints of that cabinet. If you have assembly line options like this, um, you need to clamp uh, a little bit less time because once you set up those, those joints properly and have them square, uh, if you're not 
lifting up that cabinet and putting stress on that joint, you might only need to clamp for maybe uh, uh, three minutes at the most. And you can put multiple cabinets in. And I've seen a company uh, with one of these uh, put out 300 cabinets in a day with a single wow. clamp. Very nice. Yeah. Here's one last question I think we're going to have here is he'd like to trade in his uh, machine. Is that an option? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. So all over the country, straight yes. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Very, Great. very cool. Well, anything else you guys want to talk about before we end this? We are right at our 37-minute mark, and that is means we're done. So, yeah. One thing I'd like to say before we go is um, just with the, with dowel insertion is I, uh, we'd all like to talk to you more about it, but there are ways to not get everything. You don't need a CNC and a CNC dowel inserter. And that's why we showed you these videos. There's ways to start it step by step and cost effectively and improve various aspects of the shop. I mean, you, you need to you need to drill, you need to insert glue, insert a dowel, you need to press. And I mean, if you want to do that with CNC, we'll do it with CNCs and we'll blow your doors off with what options we can do. But you can do it a cost effective way and, and start yourself slow also. And, and that's why we showed you a glue gun and a, and a dowel gun like that in a, in a case lamp. But uh, this was fun. Right. Yeah. You guys, you guys totally cool. rocked it. This is, this is a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be having another worth live, uh, with Voth Soggle. I think it's on the uh, menu for the 16th of next month, whatever month that is. That'd be April. So I think it's Friday, uh, April 16th and it's going to be the same time, 2 PM, 3 PM. And it's going to be for Lewis and company and bear supply, all the customers. And it's going to be pretty fun, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining us that was awesome very much a whole lot of knowledge and if they need any more knowledge just be sure to look at the links down below send you guys emails call you know you do offer phone support according to uh richard aiken so you know just please reach out they're there to help you guys and you know maybe next time you guys come on we'll give away a ganamat outfit because that would be totally awesome maybe we could send this video to ganamat who knows but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I think that's that. I do have an outro thing here I'm going to click. So good. Everybody's good. Any, any last yep. minutes? Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank Thanks you for everyone. coming, everyone. Thanks, Jason. Jason. All right. No problem. Bye, guys.